We have some patchy mist on the roads this morning, but temperatures are hovering just above the freeze mark. And given that, I don't think we have issues for sure on surface roads. Those are going to be fine this morning. A north wind at 18 miles per hour. It is possible that you know, a, a bridge or overpass may have a very isolated slick spot. I don't think it'll be enough to shut things down, uh, but just be aware of that if you're driving around today. I keep getting this question about the hard freeze into tomorrow morning and roads being closed because of it. You need moisture on the road coupled with the freeze for that to become a problem. Just because the temperature gets below freezing doesn't mean that the roads then freeze. Uh, you need moisture on the road, so the roads will be fine tomorrow morning, even though we're going to have a hard freeze because we're not expecting any precipitation coupled with that hard freeze. You see the satellite and radar imagery, just some ground clutter uh, showing up. And there, again, there is a little bit of mist out there. Uh, you look up to the very northwest of the screen. There's some mixed precip working into uh, the Del Rio San Antonio area. But for us, and uh, just a few spots right at freezing, Mathis, Ingleside, Hebronville, everybody else a degree or two or even three or four above that mark. So again, I'm not seeing an issue for the roads because of that temperature field. North wind coming in 10 to 20 miles per hour is putting the wind chill values in the mid 20s. So it's going to be cold out there this morning. Wind chill advisory in effect until noon. Temperatures then feel like they'll top out close to the freeze mark. Air temperatures, by the way, will be up around 40 today. There's that little mix of rain, sleet, freezing rain and snow up around Del Rio. This is going to work towards San Antonio and the farther east it gets, the more it's going to dissipate. So this isn't going to be coming to our area, but parts of the northern fringes of Live Oak and McMullen counties may get in on a little bit of that mixed precip accumulation, though, going to be negligible. I don't think this is going to be a problem for us in terms of travel in the coastal bend. This model actually keeps a lot of this up between Del Rio and San Antonio uh, with that mixed precip it working into San Antonio and snore uh, snow to the I'm tired snow to the north and west of that uh, later on today. But for us, hard freeze tonight, high pressure builds into central Texas. That's going to push down some colder air and push out the clouds. So hard freeze tonight that then slides to the east. And typically I complain about this, but I'm not going to this time because this will bring us milder air into Saturday with highs back in the 60s and then up into the 70s here. A few more clouds on Sunday. So uh, we've got a couple more days of this unseasonably cold weather, a hard freeze tonight. We'll flirt with the freeze Saturday morning and then temperatures again recover into the 60s and 70s with 40s and 50s at night into the weekend and early next week. Today, some morning mist temperatures at or a little bit above the freeze mark. Futurecast is putting a lot of sun here. Uh, I think we stay on the cloudy side though today with highs near 40 degrees tonight around uh, midnight. We're going to see those temperatures get to around freezing. There's midnight. You see some places at freezing. That'll last for about nine hours time. The hard freeze happens overnight into tomorrow morning, mid 20s, and then by nine o'clock, that's about when we'll get out of that freezing range with highs getting to around 50 with sunshine. The sun will come out here tomorrow. Today, 41 morning mist. It'll be cloudy and cold with the north wind 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight. 27 a hard freeze. If you can drip the pipes, uh, you can do that. You can also protect or insulate the piping outside if you can. Uh, 27 again, the overnight low 49 on Friday with sunshine 60 Saturday, low 70 Sunday. Another cold front comes in into Monday morning. Maybe a little rain with that, but uh, really doesn't do a whole lot to temperatures. We're going to stay mild into next week. John Thomas. Alan, thank you.